Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Today our topic is impacts of global climate change on water resources and interprovincial harmony. So, let's dissect this topic in complete depth. You must have noticed that there are two parts of this question. So, let's start with the first part, that is impact of global climate change on water resources of Pakistan. IPCC stands for Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change reports said that Pakistan's glaciers will deplete at faster rate under global warming and we have been hearing in news about new glaciers melting this global warming will cause irregular rainfalls early rains would mean floods and we have seen the destruction it caused in Pakistan's most provinces recently and how catastrophic it was for the victims late rainfalls would mean droughts these irregular rainfalls would destroy Pakistan's agriculture and would halt food supply as we have witnessed in the recent months here's an interesting fact about pakistan out of 7000 glaciers pakistan has the most than anywhere else in the world except for poles so pakistan's geography is very important for entire human race destructive floods will cause faster depletion of indus delta and later on permanent condition of drought will prevail interesting fact is that rivers brings with itself alluvial soil Alluvial soil increases the fertility of land. When there is a drought-like situation with reduced flow of water, richness of alluvial soil on irrigation land will also deplete, which will cause deforestation. You see, irrigation forests are dependent on rivers. For instance, Changa Manga, Bela forests, and mangrove forests. Here's another interesting fact: Indus Delta is about six hundred thousand hectares. It is also tenth largest in the world. and spread over from balochistan to sindh this depletion of alluvial soil will cause soil erosion and eroded silt will fill in the dams and canals which will decrease the storage capacity for water and economic loss a depletion of delta essential life supporting ecosystem providing habitat shelter and breeding ground for fauna and flora here fauna refers to all the plants flowers that grows on delta and flora refers to all the animals on delta Delta acts as a natural barrier against disastrous natural phenomena such as cyclone, wind storms, floods, soil erosion, inundation of coastal region including Karachi, depletion of forest canopy species of plants, microorganisms, insects, birds, mammals fishing on delta will decrease. Thus we can say that the entire ecosystem will be destroyed. Now let's discuss the second part which was impacts of global climate change on interprovincial harmony. Provincial grievances are already intense on water sharing. Punjab and Sindh rivalry. For your general knowledge, unutilized water flow into sea causes 29 billion dollars yearly loss to economy according to IRSA Indus River System Authority. Coming generations will die of hunger if dams are not built, Senate panel warned. Punjab and Sindh clash on water. With reduced flow, Punjabi zamindar landlord will either steal or stop water irrigate their land. Sindhi Vidhira and Sindhi Hari will be left bankrupt. Regional politics will be used to keep its water base as it has been used in the past. Secessionist feelings will develop. Foreign agencies using their proxies and non-state actors are always ready to exploit these fissures, these sentiments and grievances on the fifth generation hybrid warfare. on depletion delta or in case of floods the devastation would force individuals to migrate to other provinces for food and other resources this ethno cultural mix would fume the flames of hatred between different cultures and will lead to clashes recommendations d water apportionment accord according to which punjab would receive 47% sindh 42% kpk 8% balochistan 3% This accord was signed on the 21st of March 1991 as the most significant piece of water legislation in Pakistan. Council of Common Interests is called on every 90 days which resolves power sharing issues between federation and its provinces. Then you will end the question with concluding remarks which is all of the arguments that we have already provided before in the body. That's all from today's lecture. I hope you understood the concept. Like subscribe and share the video stay blessed